right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Conor McGregor. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like Conor <laughs> McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is one year the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started Ladies with the official introductions, here is, is Bruce Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now we're producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? I mean, John, we got Bruce Lee fighting Conor McGregor, the biggest star of his time, the biggest star of our time. The worlds are colliding. Who's going to get the victory tonight? I am not in the prediction business, but I'll tell you, UFC President Dana White was criticized for not putting this fight together. Some people wondered if he'd ever be able to get these two parties to sign on the dotted line. We are underway with Conor and Bruce Lee. Can't wait to see how it plays out. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is his best strike. It is because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. 
Z gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Big kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by McGregor. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice loop with punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And that left hook landed on the button. Back to the overhand left, no good. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Ooh, what a punch. What a tricky head kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, get one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time his opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. And he landed the right hand there. 30 seconds to go in the round. Big kick land. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice counter right hook there. Gregor gets caught with that punch. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice knee to the body there. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by McGregor. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Beautiful punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp 
And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, big left hand there. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Head kick lands. Well, in terms of Conor McGregor's frame at lightweight or at featherweight, he really uses his length well. He has an outstanding reach. More often than not, he's going to have a reach advantage over the opposition, and he is taking advantage here tonight. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice straight punch there by McGregor. Sneaky head kick. Switching stances here. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Superman punch now. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shins into the front stop. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, everybody wants a piece of Conor McGregor, of course, including his opponent here tonight. But what else can you say about McGregor's ability to manage his time and everything that has been asked of him since he vaulted to not just MMA superstar, but A-list celebrity status? Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Missed on that spinning attack. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real quick leg kick. sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Great punch. But Gregor gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by McGregor. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Get back out here work on that cut. Slice open good. There's a lot of blood. 
All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Oh! His opponent still safe. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Pretty significant well to the left side. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at the clip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice head kick. Changes his stance. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Big head kick lands. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by McGregor. Big kick land. The next with a right. Went for the inside leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, he connects there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. One minute to go. McGregor's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big body kick lands. Seconds remain in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Nice. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he goes for distance, gets the single collar tie. A lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Last round. He outstruck you. Landed more power shots and he was more aggressive. This time, I need you to dig deep. I need you to get in there close and pound. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next, next round. round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, big head kick. What a body kick. What a punch. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. 
good stick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Got clip with the right hand. Back and forth we go! Nice jab there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Watch knees to the body. Oh, just misses with the kick. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Down the stretch they come. We're going down to the wire. It has been all action all the time. I mean, two evenly matched fighters have laid it all out on the line. Let's see who can get the job done as we get to the end of the fight. Nice head kick. Nicely done to the body. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Effective strike there by McGregor. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Lands to the body there. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Connor.